Episode 30, we're finally at 30, and we have Jocelyn Perez in the house. Yeah. She came from a long way. Yeah? La... Uh, from, like, La Puente Covina area, yeah. Not too bad. Not too, not too bad. It, there's no traffic. I was, I was good. <laughs> oh, man. How, how are you? How have you been? I've been good, you know, just trying to work on my career path, trying to, you know, just get through life, but I, everything's been good. I can't complain. Uh, you just graduated. How long ago did you graduate? I from? graduated last summer, so I graduated from UCR in 2020. So it's been a year. Feels good to be done with that. You survived college. Yeah, it was hard. Um, see, little background for those watching, and uh, I worked with her in our phone company. Again, we're not going to mention it. How we said with Ashley. But that was, man, four or five years I ago? Wanted, yeah, it was like 2017. And you were still in school there. And yeah, I was I was going to Citrus at the time. So, yeah. you know, a lot of people were still trying to figure out our our path. How did you survive school, bro? Like working right full time, uh, shit, handling life and handling yeah, school. Yeah, honestly, I still, I still kind of shocked myself at how I got through it. It was definitely a lot of meltdowns. Um, a lot of stress, but I think the main goal was always to, you know, just get the, you know, the degree. That's kind of like all I wanted to get through. And like, yeah. honestly, like now that I got through that, I'm kind of like, okay, what's next? You know, cause that was my end goal for so long. Um, but yeah, it was definitely something that just made me, I think for everyone that has to work while they're going to school, I think it just makes you stronger in some type of ways because it requires a lot of discipline and then a lot of just you know you wanting to be you know successful it does because so. i will had i think just barely a year and a half almost two years into t-mobile i was still going oh shit <laughs> working at a phone company <laughs> anyways who gives a fuck uh and i was going to, to mount sac and that's the only reason i'm asking is because like how do you stay so disciplined because I ended up just, I was like, nah, never mind. I can't focus. Yeah. But, I mean, even now that I'm not even there, like, I still couldn't focus. I went a, probably like a semester, passed a class. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I remember yeah. you were still going to school when we worked together. Yeah. And you were, like, on the fence if you wanted to stay or if you wanted to, you know, like, branch out. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. So did you, how'd you handle life? You said you went through a lot of breakdowns and, and stuff like that, like, yeah, um, honestly, shh, I can't even really explain, like, something specifically that I did. It was a lot of long days. I'd, like, you know, wake up super early from, like, 7 a.m., go to school all day till, like, 3 p.m., go to an internship at one point for a couple hours and then try to race down the freeway to make it to work. Oh, shit. Um, and then close there from, like, 4.30 to, like, 8.30 uh, there was days where, like, I'd go to the gym after after work just because I was, like, so on it, you know? Yeah. And I'd have to, you know, either drive back to Riverside where I lived for a point or Ontario, which is the other, my second year where I lived. Um, so it was a long time, but honestly, I feel like I really, I really like being busy and I like feeling like I'm doing something. So it was really stressful. It was hard. You know, I didn't get to see my family as much. Um, you know, being in a relationship and just making time for everything for yourself, especially. Um, I think it's just, you know, feeling good about yourself and just knowing like you're, you have an end goal, yeah. you're working towards it. And, you know, I did it like I graduated and it was worth it, yeah. even though I didn't get my graduation last year, but <sighs> I had it this year, Fuck so COVID, it's okay. Bro. But yeah, I think just, you know, feeling good and just having that end goal that you're trying to, you know, move towards. Is this what you envisioned? about like graduating obviously you didn't have the graduation right you wish for and dreamed of right because i think that's i the wanted biggest... a party so bad i told my mom i was like i don't think so and then my sister's like i'll help you and i was like ah. and it's just been so long at one point like i just had the graduation i was like ah, i'll just have a little dinner yeah like it was just yeah, yeah but... it's like winning the championship and not celebrating <laughs> exactly like, exactly you went how, what, how many total years did you go to school uh, in total, I went to school for almost five years. 
well, five years, like what it took for me to do my bachelor's. Because um, when I first got out of uh, high school, I went to San Francisco. So mm. I thought I wanted to be in the Bay. Like I wanted to get away. And um, it didn't end up working out. Like it was a great experience. I don't regret going. But I feel like um, it was just not for me at the time. So I ended up coming back home. I yeah. did two years at Citrus. And then from Citrus, I transferred out to uh, UC Riverside, Gosh. where I finished my last two years. So yeah, five years. Mm -hmm. You had a journey. I had a journey, yeah. Damn. Did you meet like the friend? I've seen you post like when you go out with your friends and you yeah. guys look so supportive of each other. Yeah. <laughs> was that already like from like when you grew up in high school and stuff or that was that just came about? after um i think i've always done a good job at surrounding myself with good friends and just you know people that make me feel good and like very genuine um you know just always want the best for each other and just you know we all want to be successful we all want to uh we all want each other to achieve our goals so yeah, yeah. i have really supportive friends they're all they're yeah, all amazing it's that pretty much in all, in all the podcasts we always talk about it because the way life has been working, just and I was speaking about it today, is you can always do when you're trying to do something positive. There's always somebody in your inner circle or around you that just wants to n not let you not see you win, not see you win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They don't want to see you win, and and when you're when you're yeah. trying to make that transition, they like, dude, you changed. Yeah. Um, I want to say I've had that maybe like years ago. Um, Little kid stuff. <laughs> yeah, I feel like lately now, like it's not the vibe I get from like friends anymore. Like I said, like I feel like I do a really good job at surrounding myself with people that make me feel good. If I don't, I feel like I'm very like I know how to like I sense. I don't know. I'm not, it's weird. Like I just yeah. I could tell or like I get a certain like vibe off someone. Yeah. So. Um, Yes, in the past, but it's been a long time, and, you know, those people aren't in my life anymore. Are you reserved, like, when you come out to meet people, or you're just more, like... Like, social. Social. Like, I feel like I'm a little bit of both. I think it depends on the setting and then also who I'm around of. Um, um, I love making new friends and just, you know, being friendly with people. I'm very, um, you know, easy to talk to and stuff, Uh but at the same time, I do go through my phases where I'm just kind of like reserved or like a little bit like shy or yeah. like I just, you know, it just depends. I think it's just like the vibe and the setting. But for the most part, I think I'm a very personable person. I try to be. Has that yeah. always been you? Like No. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I feel like um, I used to be really shy. Yeah. I feel like I used to be really shy and just, you know like super timid i feel like working at our cell phone company um that was probably the job that really helped me um just you know become better at getting to know people and just being a little more social because that's what the job entitles like just like you know hey you're, welcome you're selling like hey how can i help you yeah. like you can't be like oh what was the role you know? like you have like, to find out what they do yeah like, like what they want like be how, you know personable kids? all that stuff to like try and sell them on stuff so it's definitely a job that requires you to talk so i feel like that's the job that really helped me get out of my uh my comfort zone and just it taught me how to be more sociable, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, to be, to be social is just it's a yeah. job on its own. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's because I see you're a little, a little, little nervous, one. just like me. Yeah. yeah. Little one. It's about. I think that's pretty, pretty small, right? Yeah. It's decent. So this is gonna air in the morning. So if you guys drink alcohol in the morning, you guys are alcoholics, bro. <laughs> alcoholics, but here we go. <laughs> I'm scared. Then, uh, me too. A little toast Cheers. right before. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Straight from TJ. It's smooth. Straight from TJ, my boy McQueen. He's out there. That's good. Um, but yeah, like I think to be, I think the biggest, the biggest thing, right, that we're talking about being social is being confident with yourself. Right. A lot of people, even me, sometimes I have my days where confidence isn't always there, right? Right. Like you have your moments, how yeah, we were just course. talking before that, like you have to, it's always good to have a, a reset button. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in reset buttons, but I mean, I'm kind of bad because I'll believe a reset button until I'm already to the, to the ground. Like I ran myself through the wall already. Are you, do you hold it to that point? Like you get a reset button until like you just had enough or like, you know, that balance already. Um, 
Like when it comes to like confidence and stuff like that? Or? About you, yeah. Like yeah. you when you get up. You know how they said the, the way you get up is the way your day w- is going to yeah. go. Yeah, like if you wake up all lazy. Yeah, like you know you like deal out with those Karens in the yeah. in the other. Like it's like, fuck, what's, what, what went wrong in your day or during your week that mm-hmm. lets you lash out with somebody you don't completely know? Right. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm always constantly trying to do like little resets like whether it's like little like throughout the day or throughout the week I think it just depends um but for the most part yeah it's sometimes you just have to kind of check yourself out in the middle of the day or something if you're like not feeling it and just you know refocusing so for me what I do is like I'll just put on like some like relaxing music or um I'll like go outside to my patio and like read a book or do my journal and like just like kind of like just Damn. Yeah. So you have like a whole, you really do that routine that, I mean, I would say like a lot of people say they do it and not a lot of people yeah. really do. Well, yeah. It's hard to like sometimes, you know, stay on top of it and be consistent, but I have found that it really helps me just, you know, that's how I try to start off my mornings, like with my journal first, it's called a five minute journal. So that's kind of the point of it. You start in the morning and at the end of your day. And I feel like it's something that's really helped me, um, you know, just start my days a little bit more grateful and just not like, oh, here goes another week, you know, like it's like, okay, what new goals do I have this week? Like, what am I going to get done today? Yeah. Um, I also like doing like lists and stuff like on my phone. Um, my sister just recently told me about it and I started doing it and like, I'll just do like, okay, this is my list for today and I'll check them off as I go. So oh, I don't shit. know. I, I'm trying, you know, I'm just trying to be better. Yeah. yeah. No, the reason why I just wanted to ask is yeah. because the people, again, the ones that watch, if you haven't yet, like, share, subscribe, but we're all looking, everybody that listens to, to a podcast, not just this one, which is the best one, <laughs> <laughs> right? You got to throw that out there, is they're always, look, we listen to podcasts because we're looking for an answer or we're trying to reassure ourselves about the answer. We right. already know, but we just, we're, we're hard hitting. Yeah, yeah, we need to hear it again. Like, you know, the how you said, the five minute journals. Sometimes, like I have it on my app, like the verse of the day. Oh, like the Bible app? Yeah, I the have Bible that one app. Too. The yeah, verse... and it takes you through passages. Yeah, again, I listen to Eric Thomas, and his always come out like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Obviously, he's either in San Diego, Detroit. Timing is different, but he says it's 2 a.m. here, but it's already sunrise over there in the other side of the world. Right. So when they come out Monday mornings, 7, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., I'm already listening to that reassurance reassurance i mm-hmm. can i will i must i'm like now how can i how can i be bitter how can i be complaining about today when yeah life is even Just if we're going. yeah if you can complain all you want but yeah shit life is here yeah definitely so, i feel like we all kind of go through through that in some way mm-hmm. i wanted to ask like even though we worked with each other we never had this type of conversation right and i always tell people like bro you can be friends with somebody and know somebody for years, but until you have an actual conversation, like to really get to know people, right? It's like, bro, you have no idea where they come from. Yeah, you don't. You don't know yeah. why they're mean. You don't know why <laughs> they're confident. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I told Ashley, I was like, "You're one of those that I'll help you right now and turn around, man." Just... I used to be scared of Ashley when I first started working with her, and then it took me like a, like a, maybe a couple of days. I was like, "Okay, she's nice," but yeah, I remember. We're going to ask like John it. how's that relationship because <laughs> if you're scared, my boy, start blinking. Let us know. Give us a call. 911. <laughs> At what point did you say your life changed? Um, I would probably say these last two years. Mm. These last two years. I feel like this year alone has been a big, it's a year of transition for me, definitely. Um, so this year alone, um, but 24, 25, I just turned 25 this summer in July. Um, but these last two years, I want to say, because, you know, 21 through 23, like you're living, but you're also still young. So you're not really worried about the future. You're kind of just in the moment. Like I'm young, I'm in school. Yes. But like, I'm just, you know, um, so now that I'm getting a little older, I'm more, you know, like, (laughs) all right, like this is serious. I need to be, you know, uh, like my main thing is just, you know, becoming, uh, like the best version of myself. And I feel like once you have that, the rest just follows and, you know, just, you know, trying every day, trying to be better and just bettering yourself. Uh, so that's that's kind of like where it's at. I feel like this year and yeah. 24 has been a big year for me. Can we bring up your boyfriend? 
Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to him. What's, yeah. what's his name? His name's Alec. Alec. Shout out to, my, to <laughs> Alec. Um, so the only reason I'm just bringing this up right. is the view on the most important word that's thrown out there very frequently, love. Mm-hmm. You know, you you hear about stories about people meeting for a week and bro, told me I love you. <laughs> that's, that, that's scary. That, that's forever. That's forever. <laughs> or like how... Uh, we set up with Ashley Martinez, uh, Jackie Jaquez. There's people that want to do boyfriend and girlfriend shit, but don't really want that title. The responsibility that it that that comes with. Yeah. How did even before him? Like, how did you have that view on love or? Yeah, and like how I incorporated. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's just it just kind of it's based on like what I was going through in life, but I've definitely always kind of been. You know, I know they call it, like, the relationship type of people. Um, (laughs) uh, I, you know, I feel like I am kind of that type of person, but I also have had my time to, you know, just, you know, be single, work on myself. Um, But, yeah, I feel like that relationships are hard. They require a lot of time. I remember at the beginning um, when, uh, you know, Alec and I started talking, it was something that he he wasn't really sure about the commitment and, like, yeah. I was all in, you know? <laughs> so, like, we kind of swapped off a couple times, but it, I think it took a while for us to, like, get on the same page, but I think it just takes, like, two people that really want to, you know, both, like, go for it and work yeah. on it. Um, but, yeah, they're hard because, as it is, you're already dealing with working on yourself and then you got to make time for yourself yeah. and then you got to make time for them. But I think if it if it feels good and it feels right, then it'll just mesh naturally. So, mm. yeah. Feels good and feels right. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> big on that. You're big on that. So, with how long have you been with them now? It's going to be three years. Three years. We dated for maybe four it's been a while, yeah, because my little Snapchat memories will pop up, and it's like four to five years ago, and I'm no. like, oh shit, yeah. So you, you guys hung. Yeah, Damn, it's been a while. Man. It's been a I, while. Just because that's a while. <laughs> that's what seven years going. Not seven years. Total, like, right? Made, total. No, it's total. It'd be like five, five. But yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. See, yeah. You told me to freeze, and it really just froze. <laughs> No, it froze. Anyways, Nothing? I guess. Just let it thaw a little bit. Ah, I'm gonna, we're going to let it. Yeah, we're going to let it warm up. I guess I'll take a shot <laughs> later. But seven years. So how did, so with that, how you said it, it just meshed together. Your view now, like on the relationship or how you see it yourself, do you see yourself in the relationship you are now planning for a future? Like, is that the way you, people our age, come in to try to view it that's the way i've always viewed it you know like if you you don't see yourself with someone long term then why are you with them you know like uh that's the way i've always kind of went about my relationships and you know are we gonna do this or not because i don't want to why am i gonna invest myself and give a hundred if it's not gonna lead somewhere eventually you know or if we're not gonna try to at least get there so yeah i think that's that's uh, very important. And then, you know, not everyone's like that. Some people are just kind of like, well, if this works right now, you know, that's fine. Yeah. And that's cool if you could be like that. Not me. I'm a little bit more like not traditional, but just, I don't know, just like. We try way. to be traditional. Yeah. Yeah. Trying and like I want to I do like the whole like, you know, like the step by step, like not rushed. And then like, you know, eventually you get to like a home and, you know, yeah. marriage, all of that, of course. Um, but yeah, I feel like it just kind of depends on the kind of person you are. But for me, yeah, it's always been like that. Like, all right, what's our goal? Like, where are we getting at? How are we, you know, going to get through this? What's our next, you know? Does that come with like how you, you were raised, right? Um, I think actually, uh, Mm. I wasn't raised. I, I was raised, you know, uh, parents separated and my mom was a single mom. So I've never really grown up around that. Um, but I feel like because I didn't grow up around that, that's, I've seen it somewhere, like somewhere else or with my friends or something like that. And it made me want to be like, okay, that's what I want. Like I may have not grown up with it, but it's what I'm going to have one day because I know what it's like. And like, I didn't get to have that, you know? So coming from somewhere, right? Like that's because you live, you live through a certain event in your life when you grow up and you get to that age, right? We always have to get to the age to where we're mature enough, old enough to be like, bro, this is, because I lived through this, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. And, and how, how it said, like a lot of people just love to 
replay what they already had lived through years and just like keep on going and it's like no it doesn't always have to be like that like you could be the difference you don't have to be you know a certain way your life doesn't have to go a certain way just because of what you like already like went through or what you didn't have a choice on so i'm very big on you know making that change for you know my my future kids and like what i want yeah because i mean the whole thing is just about transitioning about transitioning yourself into your new Mm -hmm. life which is your new me- mentality, emotional, uh, money. When you grow up yeah. getting money and you're just like, bro, like 18, 19 and getting this amount, like I wasn't responsible at that age. I was, <laughs> I was just, oh man, I think I've gotten more debt than what I was even earning. Yeah, same. <sighs> yeah. I think we've all kind of been there at one point. You yeah, know? like I, I mean, I, I'm guilty of it. Like you, yeah. per- we all portray it, right? Like we mm-hmm. all portray a good life and this is what we're doing. That first credit card. <laughs> first credit card comes. I'll pay it later. I'll pay it later. And that before yeah. then, your minimum is what your tech is. We're like, oh <laughs> shit, that's that's crazy. Did you have to? Did you learn that? Uh, a did little bit. Did someone teach you? Did Did you just have to learn it on your own? Uh, I feel like I kind of did, and then also just you know like just life coming in the way. Like my mom always told me like you know just spend like what you have spend what you have and and i remember um at one point like i had spent so much and then when it actually came down to me needing my credit card for like you know emergency like when i needed it like my card was almost like maxed out or something i was young and i was like dad like i feel like we all kind of go through that but i think what's important is just you know eventually you'll pay it off you learn your lesson once just don't get yourself back in the same position like you know we're young we're dumb yeah um yeah you definitely grow yeah, and you learn how to handle your money. Definitely. Yeah, people need to understand, man. Credit is key, but credit when, is key. But when your credit cards are bigger than your bank account, there's an issue. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I get scared opening credit cards. I'm like, I got two, and I don't want any more. Like, yeah, they hit you with like, if you if you open this today, you get ten dollars off. Yeah. <laughs> and this amount, we're like, hell yeah, don't throw yeah. it. Marshalls. <laughs> yeah, Marshalls have and, good stuff though. Me and Brittany, oh yeah, man. Yeah, you guys go to shopping streets. Yeah, when we go to Marshalls, I do just two things. By the time we're done, your total is 180 bucks. We're like, oh, oh. Target, oh, yeah, Target, Costco. Too. Man, it's it's tough. Costco's well, a good one. Everything everything has a price. Right. And the way society is, everything's just stupidities. Yeah. Too too expensive. But so now with your friends, you guys have like you guys go out, support each other. How do you how is that support? Because a lot of friends don't have actual support, right? How we just brought up like Right. Um I feel like it just kind of depends. Like I feel like for a while, I was that person that would kind of just keep things to myself and not talk to my friends about it. Like, if I was going Mm. through something, I'd think I could handle it on my own. And then it was just a couple of days before I could just, like, bottle everything up and then just, you know, explode. So um, I feel like I've learned to, you know, just talk to my friends when I need them. Um, You know, if my friends are going through something, like, I'll I'll FaceTime throughout the day or call or always text or let's go to the gym and, like, we'll do, we'll be doing our sets and, like, catching up on whatever's going on. Yeah. Um, I I think it just depends, like, what it is that you're going through. Sometimes, like, I'll have a friend that we go to, like, to the park and we'll, like, take our books or, like, our Bibles and just, like, try to do, like, a little Bible study. It just depends. Or, like, sometimes if we want to just, I've had a long week, like, girls' night out, you know? Like, it just depends, (laughs) honestly. It could be, it ranges. You go out, when you go out with your girls, you bring your boyfriend along? Uh, I try to, unless it's like a girls' night. <laughs> if it's yes. a girls' night, I have my girls' night. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for the most part, he, yeah, I bring him around my friends. Um, I that's really big for me. Like, I want you to be able to come around my family, my friends, and like yeah. feel comfortable and like you know just have friendships with my friends. Just like for for him, like I wanna you know be able to do the same and be able to like go around his friends and you know you allow him to go by himself yeah he says he i don't but i do <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna normalize this so you are but, why do you allow him to go by himself because uh, it's I, not it's it's you know it's yeah for a guy to a guy for a guy to go by himself to a party or to a out with his boys yeah. it's like no bro you're going out there and you're cheating yeah you're done Honestly, I think us girls are just naturally sometimes crazy, but I try not to, I try not to be, I think it's not always just that the girl's crazy. Like sometimes it's just stuff that a girl has been through. Mm. Um, But I feel like as you get to know, you know, you should obviously trust your partner and um, 
you know, if the trust is there, then, you know, just, you know, trust it. Um, I definitely don't like being a hypocrite because I know I like my girls nights, so I don't want him to I'm ever... I'm allowed to go, but you're yeah, not. Yeah, but you're not. No, I try not to be a hypocrite. I'm like, all right, like I, you know, I was just in San Diego last weekend for one of my girls' birthdays. Um, I, I like going out with my girls, so I'm not going to be a hypocrite. Um, he's been into golfing lately, so like that's his boys thing. Like Tiger he'll go, Woods, yeah, yeah, he's super into <laughs> it. So I'm like, okay, like I've tried golfing. I'm not the best at it. Like I want to, I do want to work at it, but that's his thing. So that's like yeah. his boy time. Um, it's like taking a girl to a barbershop. <laughs> that's the barbershop talk right there, bro. I think that's like the most uh, metaphoric we can use. Like, all right, do you take your girl to your barbershop? And if he does, you're the one because we're not. The barbershop is barbershop talk. Like, really? Wow, yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> I, ask any guy, bro, is barbershop your space? Yeah, because you talk to your barber yeah. for the hour you're there about, man, we have a whole podcast with him. The first time uh, I, I met my boy, he was just, we had a whole podcast talk. I was like, bro, let's do a podcast. He was like, I'm not that type of dude. I'm like, we yeah. just we just had <laughs> this right now. Yeah. But that's our vent session. I yeah. think just like when... When girls, maybe you can admit to this, like, when girls go with their friends to go get their nails or toes done. Yeah, it's like a therapy session sometimes. Nice. If we're next to each other, yeah, I feel you. Nice game, no Lewis. <laughs> hey, well, and then they say they don't understand, and those people working on your feet or hands just know all the cheese when you just Probably, said. Probably, yeah. <laughs> They're all listening. <laughs> so, so, Kings, make sure you get your boys' time because a lot of girls don't allow you, Brittany. <laughs> I nah. see you out with your boys. <laughs> I'm sure you're out with your boys more than her or with no. your friends. Is that true? No, it's not true. That is true. <laughs> Damn, she got you. We're about to end the episode early today. <laughs> no, don't even, like the reason I ask is because there was there were some things that I seen this week about it was crazy because girls were out with, with their friends and stuff like that. But then some guys were we're on social media and they just love to bash and say the op, like the worst things about them, but yet they're doing the same shit. Yeah. So that was just Twitter, like, you see that a lot. <laughs> like I told Ashley, Twitter fingers, huh? <laughs> she was like, yeah, I got to take myself. And it's, bro, Twitter, Instagram. I had, The last person we had, she said on TikTok, comments go on like crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My friend just posted a TikTok from us last weekend and so many comments but i was like all reading through them like people are nice some of them are like you know not always nice but it's cool yeah i feel like one two three we're back so we got the jitters out right always the first part yes. we're a little <laughs> little more nervous but what's the plan that you have in your like where do you see yourself in three to five years i, I definitely want to be you know in my career already, like where I'm trying to get right now. Um, so obviously successful, um, big factor is being happy with what I'm doing. So hopefully, you know, that works out for me. So I'm being successful and I'm happy. I also want to have a home and then not three years, maybe a little more towards five years, but obviously, you know, I'm 25 now. So kids are in the, you know, in the future before 30 or at 30, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I would say, you know, career and then house, kids, yeah. Alec knows? Yes. <laughs> is he on board? My boy, is he on He's board? He's more like three years. I'm like, ah, uh, three years. <laughs> I Yeah, I'm definitely like, I'm a total mom. I will, you know, love being a mom, but I'm also very like, I want to feel like I am where I need to be and like I need to have worked on myself and like you know be yeah. good you know because I feel like that's really important if it doesn't work out that way that's fine that's God's plan mm. um but that's what I'm trying to do just get to my best self first and then you know yeah. that'll follow yeah all the dominoes just right yeah start going I think with the whole you look from the last time we've talked with fuck Shit, it's you. been like four years <laughs> three years years ago you're 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 a positive person. Mm. You you keep your smile Thank on, you. like you you know what you post and stuff is like all right. Like she she looks happy. Thank you. Are you happy? Uh yeah, I like to think so. I honestly, you know, 
obviously social media we all post our best parts not the worst like no one wants to post like you know when they're going through something but you know it happens yeah i you know like i said this last year has been like the most you know transition for me that i've felt in a while so yeah i've gone through it. i've had a couple meltdowns this year like you know we all do we all you know are just trying to figure it out but um i'm very big on just like posting like things that I think could resonate with my friends or, like, mm. other people, like, you know, because it's not, you yeah. know, you have to be real. Like, life's not always rainbows and butterflies. Like, sometimes, you know, and then sometimes when it is like that, I kind of tend to, like, take myself a little bit out of social media so I could, like, focus. It's mm. so, like, I won't post as much or, like, yeah. I won't, you know, like, be on there as much just trying yeah. to, you know, reground. No, and I, I always say and I tell everybody that, bro, and – the last person we had, which that episode is going to air, um, dude, social media is is a job. Yeah. Especially when you become an influencer and all that stuff. Like she was saying, like, I spent four hours fixing a TikTok. <laughs> me and her, <laughs> me and Brittany hard. looked at her like, four hours? Dang. She's like, yeah. But like, whatever their payment is or stuff, she's like, it's worth it. But you're talking about a 15 second video for That four you spent hours. four hours on a no one knows. Yeah. yeah. And and I, how yeah. we talked about like living at the colony, like you meet people that you're big, they're big on social media, and when you meet them outside of that camera, it's like, bro, you're not. That's not it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely like that in a lot of, a lot of cases. I've come across a lot of people like that. Um, I, you know, if you ask any one of my friends, I'm like the one that always lives under a rock they'll be like oh have you seen so and so's like youtube video or like oh are you so and so's makeup tutorial and i'm like wait who like you know (laughs) but it's not that i want to be a hater towards it but like i'm very like i don't know like sometimes like i don't need to be following someone's life you know like i need to be working on my own and like it's cool though like they've gotten me into it i'm like a little more like you know i'm like all right cool like i learned how to do makeup you know (laughs) stuff like that but um yeah no social media has definitely you know stepped up the last couple years just for everyone and you know that's good like for some people it works it's like a source of income uh for me personally i try to keep a balance um some days you know you don't want to post or some days you don't want to have to you know check in and like you know some people that make money off of it like that's their that's what they do. Um, yeah. But I definitely think, like, to just keep a balance. Like, I, whenever I find myself, like, just lose time, like, lose an hour on my phone, just, like, laying down, I'm like, I just lost an hour of my day. Like, what the yeah. hell? Like, get up, go do something, you know? Um, but it's hard. I think it's a lot of, like, self-discipline to me. And if you want to have that self-discipline. Because some people just want to be in that, you know? Yeah, some people are, they want to be known. They just want to be seen. Yeah. So, Right now, I was thinking about, like, man, like, those people, right? Because how we just said, or how I just said, they're not the same off of camera, but a lot of people just want that spotlight. They want to be seen. They want to be recognized by everybody and anybody. But in reality, and how they, how a lot of social media people later on, years after, come out, like, I've been battling this and this, and it's, like, yeah. mental health, emotion, this and that. It's like, well, bro, you've been doing that for years, and how can you not be happy? Yeah. Like how you said earlier, like, I want to find a career path and be happy with what I do every day. That's why I tell anybody, like, bro, I kill bugs for a living and I coach (laughs) and stuff like that, but I'm happy. Yeah. Like, you can't tell me that this, that I'm unhappy because I'll tell you I'm happy. I'm I'm good with it. it. And now you've, like, fought, like, not fought, you've found this. And, like, this is something, like, on the side that you enjoy doing. Oh, man, this is insane. You know, like, I think that's amazing. I think that's, like, you know, the way and, like, my sister tells me all the time, like, I've had a couple of struggles. My sister is, like, my go-to. Like, I always go to her for everything. Yeah. Um, and she's the one that kind of told me, well, do you know, like, you know, if you're not happy doing this, like, what do you like? Yeah. Like, find what you like doing. And, like, I feel like everyone, you know, has to find that. Like, you've, you know, found this. And, like, yeah. I've always seen you kind of, like, always, like, trying out different things. So, yeah. like, <laughs> you know, like, that's cool. Like, that's kind of, like, yeah. what we all need to do. And I feel like that's something I've been trying to work on, too. Like, what makes me happy? And, like, that's something that not anyone else could answer for you until, like, no. you do the digging and you figure it out yourself. Yeah, because so, what I tell yeah. everybody and you hear, like, other social media motivational speakers tell you like bro we never stick to one thing right like we find one thing we perfect it 
and we go on to the next because mm-hmm. that's just a venture that came with what we were doing. Mm-hmm. But how you said, like, how can somebody else answer how happy you can be yeah. when they're not in your shoes day in, day out? Like, f- let's talk about five years prior or when did you see yourself where you're at now? Um, I... I honestly don't know where I saw myself, you know, five years ago, I was what, 20? Yeah. I I was just kind of living in the moment. I knew I was going to go to school. I knew I was going to get my degree. I knew I was going to do possibly more school after yeah. my bachelor's, which it's still kind of in the air. Um, but no, I didn't really have like a clear perception. But now that I'm here... I'm like, okay, you know, like, I've done a pretty good job. Like, it's not always been smooth sailing, but what matters is every day you wake, like, you wake up trying and, like, you know, you're just trying to be a better person, like, in general. As a kid, and, you know, when they write, what do you want to be when you grow up? Yeah. What did you write down (laughs) then? I remember for a long time I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a teacher, and I was kind of set on that. But then I was like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. Like, I enjoy doing, like, repetition and, like, the same thing every day. And obviously, that's what most jobs are. But um, it just didn't seem like what I wanted to do, you know, forever. And then I was into, like, photography. I was like, I want to be a photographer. Like, there's just been a lot of things. Yeah, Yeah, there's been a lot of things. But I think as I get older... um, I, you know, I still haven't really found it. I have my idea, but I think, you know, the main thing that I've learned just from like what I've been through this past year and stuff is just finding like where you're happy. So I think that's what's going to come down to. And then also like my sister, how I was telling you, like, she's like someone like I always go to, like she kind of branched out and like just took a risk and just started like using her creativity to like do her purses. I don't even, I'm sure you've seen me post, I don't yeah, know if you've yeah, seen yeah, me post, yeah. but she went ahead and she like started that on her own and the fact that she did that and she's making these like handmade purses and spending so many hours on each one like she really inspired me and just you know like damn like i like this not the secret because it's not for everyone but like you know yeah. you want to do your own thing and like you know yeah. go from there and that's kind of what i want to get to eventually because that's kind of like the goal right now for yeah because this the whole entrepreneurship right like you can how you can sell shoes, you can sell whatever you want. You can be an entrepreneur, but to keep that going, right? And when you come into this realm, it's how your how your sister did. She went from having like a sure thing, having a sure job, sure check to I'm yeah. going all in, like this is it. Same thing with that podcast with, with Justin. I went from having like a plan, a retirement plan, this and that, to I haven't had a check in eight months. It's like but that's a risk I'm willing to take. So that's, I mean, don't, I'm not saying go quit your job, but <laughs> if, if you're not happy, go, there's a lot more jobs. Yeah, honestly, that's <laughs> it, something I actually like experienced just not too long ago. And it was one of those things where I'm like so responsible and I'm like, no, like I'm committed, you know, I can't just, you know, I've never been one to like quit a job just like that or yeah. anything like that. And it, that's what it came down to. I was like, you know what? I'm, you know. Yeah, because it's, 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 it's scary. Yeah, it's scary. Right? But uh, risks are what take you to, like, your different, like, your higher steps and stuff. So you never know yeah. unless you try. So, like, you have one life. And if you're not going to do it in this life, when are you going to do it, you know? People wait Just until it's too risk. late. Yeah. You know, I, I tell her, I tell Brittany, and I tell pretty much everybody, like, bro, if I don't do this now that we're 25, when? 26... I'm for sure not going to do it at 40 years old, mm-hmm. 45 years old. Because if we're tired now, we're going to be all like, <laughs> Oh, dude, I was asleep last night, like 9.30. And I was like, I told him in the morning, I was like, who am I? Like, on a Saturday, I'm out at that <laughs> time. Like the, yeah, I had a night in yesterday, too. I felt good. We, like, had sushi. We want to go sleep. <laughs> yeah, so it it's all about it's having adulthood. A, man, and people are still 30 partying like they're like yeah. 20. Like, How do you guys do this? Yeah. But yeah. maybe it's part, come, you know, being adults mm-hmm. and really, and the way I think about it is like when you have a plan or a vision, you do everything possible to make that into reality. Right. It's not just about dreaming anymore. It's about taking action. Yeah. You know, if you have a venture, if you have an idea, if you have a if you have a product that you really like and you want to get out there, it's about taking action and really doing it. 
if mm-hmm. it fails, it failed. Yeah, there's like there's so many people that are successful now, and they'll be like, yeah, I tried this, I tried this before, and that didn't work out. Like, it's just gonna happen. Yeah. Like, it's life. Like, you're gonna go through your ups and downs, and like I said, like you're not gonna know unless you try it. Like, and then maybe that one thing that you didn't think was gonna work out, it worked out. You know? Yeah. So. What what would what advice would you give a younger you, a younger version of you? Uh, I would probably say to. Don't make us cry right now. No. We've cried in the last three episodes already. <laughs> I would say just like take it a day by day because even now that's something I'm still working on. But like I stress a lot and like I will get in my head and I get overwhelmed sometimes and like I can't, you know, get something right or anything like that. And yeah. you know, I just I'm learning to like just be at peace with myself and just trust the process, trust God and just you know, it's going to work out. And if it doesn't work out, something else, like God just has a different plan for you. Because when I was younger, I would always freak out and have all these mental like breakdowns and just be (laughs) super hard on myself. So just, you know, take it day by day. Like you, you're going to get there eventually and you need to just trust the process. Like don't freak out. Like don't freak out because I used to freak out all the time. Yeah. So the, it comes into good transition into like mental health. Yeah. Back then, Personally, I didn't, and how I was telling Amber in the last episode, I didn't pay attention to it. I was just like, bro, I'm, I feel sad. Fuck it. Keep going. Keep going. And just now I'm just like, I have to acknowledge it. Yeah. If I don't acknowledge it, I'm just like, you're being, you never... you're being naive. You're being stupid. Yeah. Because then that's going to affect you long term. And to be honest like with you, I feel like not to like come at guys or anything, but I feel like guys kind of no, deal with it. that a little more. Do it. Yeah, like you guys have to like not feel like you're suppressed, but like maybe if you're feeling some type of way, you just, it's easier to just look the other way and not acknowledge it, you know? Yeah. Whereas us girls are very in tune with our emotions or like what we're feeling or you could read our faces right away. And like, I feel like for me at least, what works best is to acknowledge it and just kind of take some time, like remove yourself a little bit and just... Like, okay, what's going on with me? Like, that's kind of, like, what I go through sometimes, too. Like, okay, what am I feeling? Like, why am I... Or if you're feeling sad, like, why am I feeling sad? Or, like, what what's going on? Because yeah. if you don't, like, how are you going to know? You're just going to, like, the weekend comes, you, you have a party, you go drink with your friends, or you do, like, you just get distracted by all these things instead of, so Do you... you Couldn't you write off? Sorry. Do no, you think... So when you go through a breakup, when you go through a... a yeah, most of anything like a breakup, right? It's the most common thing. Do you think it's okay to go out and get drunk or After party? After a breakup? Yeah, or like, I, I, I've I, lately, this is what I've think, and for years already, like, bro, like, all right, go do that. But you're going to be in your feelings even worse than what it is. Yeah, um, I think, you know, I'm not going to say it's completely wrong to, like, you know, be going out like when a fresh breakup because you know it's good to get your mind off of it yeah if you're like getting fucked up and like you know (laughs) ended up crying at the end of the night all right you know you got some fixing to do and like obviously i'm like okay maybe we should be doing some wholesome things but um i think you know it's a balance but everyone deals with it in a different way i do feel like if you do choose to go that route eventually it's going to catch up to you like like you said like it's gonna come like you're not like everything that you were neglecting it's gonna just all hit you at once yeah and i feel like a lot of people sometimes experience that i feel like i kind of experienced that when i was like 21 and i was just going out all the time and you know it was 21 (sighs) um yeah no and then i had you know I had my own thing where, like, I realized, like, all right, not going out isn't all it. And then I also started school at UCR, so I had to, like, full-on, like, yeah. you know, not go out for, like, two years. and like, Or if I did, like, it wasn't anything crazy. I think yeah. it just depends, but definitely it catches so up with you. So, like, you get older, you, you find, and what a lot of people still are trying to find that answer to is you need to understand that when we get older, you need to progress. Like, you need to really figure yourself out. Yes, don't stay stagnant. As long as you're not staying, like, in the same place, like, you know, who yeah. cares if that didn't work out for you? Like, who cares yeah. if that job wasn't for you? Like, as long as you keep on moving forward, like, you can't just, like, be in the same spot. And, like, yeah. if you're not going to do school, all right, what are you going to work as? Like, you have to, like, figure yeah. out, like, have, like, motive, honestly. I feel like that's a big thing about it. And, like, you just kind of, the people, like, you surround yourself with, I feel like that makes a big impact, too. Like, if your friends are successful, if you're, you know, hanging out with the right people, like, you're going to want to be more and, like, you know, and if you're hanging out with people that are just, like, 
you know, not losers. doing it. Yeah, losers, Sorry, you know. Bro. I mean. It happens. Uh, it happens. And you just, yeah, you have to just keep keep yourself always going. Like, yeah. always have that I, spark. I believe in that. Like, just being honest and being straight up. Mm-hmm. If people that beat around the bush and shit like that, like, man, like, whose feelings are you trying to protect? Yours or theirs? Like, sometimes <laughs> people just really need to hear, like, bro, you're not doing shit. You're complaining too much and you're not finding your solution. Find your solution. Like that's one thing I've been working on the last couple of months too. I'm like, and not it's brought up to like I've noticed it, and then like some like you know people around me. But I'm like, damn, I need to stop complaining. Like, why complain? Like you know, and like I'm I'm guilty of it. Like sometimes we just find ourselves like you know always like, you know like yeah. no like find something positive every day. Like yeah. I feel you. Find yeah. your find your reason. Right, like yes. how I promote it, and I, and I'm big on it. Like, bro, just find your reason why you're gonna go grind every day. Yeah. Whether you work at a dead end job that you're miserable at, whether you're taking a leap of faith and you're gonna go into your own business, or you're going to school or whatever you're doing, just like find the reason why you're gonna keep doing it, and know those people are depending on you and they love you. Biggest yeah. thing, the word is they love you. There's really people out there that really care for you and love you for who you are. It doesn't matter what you have, what your bank account looks like, what your shoes look like, what your car looks like. They just really love you. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think that we need to have the best of the best for people to really Mm -hmm. love us. It's like, bro, like... They're not the right people if they don't love you through your struggles or through your, you know... Yeah, Yeah, because I just seen today, like, you know, people only recognize you when you've made it. Yeah, or you start seeing all the friendships pour in, or like, oh, we want to hang out. Yeah. Yeah, like, dude, let's catch up. It's like, uh, how long ago did I talk to you? Like, years yeah. ago? So, on a, I always ask this is since you watched it, how I told Amber, and Amber was like, I'm ready. On a <laughs> yeah. one to 10 scale, like mentally, emotionally, uh, financially, like, where, where do you stand in all three? Like as a, all combined together or each one? Each one. Each, every, Damn, each, each, each one, one is yeah. different. Yeah, each one is different. Like we can always round them, like put them together, take the average and we're a good number. Yeah. But individually it's where it counts. Yeah. Because you can be a 10 in financial and you can be a one in, in yeah. mental. Yeah. Um, what were they again? Financial. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need a shot before I do this. <laughs> Financially, mentally, mentally and emotionally. Emotionally. Okay. Take them um, however you want. Right. I would say... Do you need a shot before you do this? Uh, yeah. Let's do a little... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm up Wait, so financially, uh, However you want to put them. And Finan- then what was the last one? Financially, mentally, or emotionally? Emotionally. Okay. I would say emotionally... Lately, as of lately, not in the past, past recent months, but I've done a lot of like self self like growth and a lot of like self-love in the last couple months just because i was just going through it for a little bit um i would say i'm like at an eight now mm. you know for that like i feel pretty good on a daily basis like thank you the confidence. Uh, that's yes. good for me too because yes. there is just not too long like recent months like there was days where i was waking up and i was just like oh like here's another week here's another day yes. you know and that started reflecting on my relationships, like just how I'm, how I was being like on a daily basis, and like it's not who I am. Like that's not who like I am. Like you knew at all. already, this isn't me. Yeah. So yeah. I was like really trying to figure out the root and stuff. So I, um, you know, in the and you know, just as of recently, like I want to say maybe like the last like month or so is when I started realizing like okay, like my work has been working because like. I feel happier. Like, I feel at peace. One thing I really struggle with is, like, anxiety. And, like, I give myself a lot of anxiety throughout the day. So, for me, just waking up on a day and just being peaceful. Like, it's a beautiful day. Like, what are we going to do today? Or, like, what am I going to do? Like, what's my new goal at the gym today? Like, just stuff like that keeps me going. And there's times when, like, you're not feeling it. And, like, the gym doesn't motivate you. And, like, you don't want to go to the gym. Or, you know, stuff like that. So, I've... it's, it's, It's tough when you're in the gym, bro. Like... What a lot of people still don't understand, like, just because you go to the gym and post, it doesn't mean you're good. Yeah, or it doesn't mean that you're, like, there and, like, happy to be there. Like, you know it when you're, like, on yeah. it. And then the days that you're just going through the motions, like, fuck, yeah. all right, back day, like, let's do it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. I've heard it from, like, professional bodybuilders when they when they say, 
like obviously they're in a different realm because that's their job that's their career yeah and it's like all right and i heard it from uh entrepreneurs already famous people they're bothers already it's like when you feel like you you can't do it no more that's when you need to push even more elevate mm -hmm. elevate and every i always every time i'm feeling the way you're just saying i'm just like all right you said it i got this now and it's like all right cool and i mentally emotionally in there i'm just like fuck all right if i need to cry put my hood yeah. on just cry real quick <laughs> boom get to it so that, yeah. what you just said like yeah. a lot of people a lot of people may feel like that. Yeah. I'm one of them. I think the first step is just recognizing it. Because if you don't recognize it, then you're not going to acknowledge it. Yeah. So that was, that's, what was that one? <laughs> My mental? <laughs> that was, was emotional. That? Oh, that emotional. Was emotional. Emotional. Okay. <laughs> but it transitions perfectly <laughs> into your mental. Mental. Mentally. Um, mental. I would probably say, I would probably say the same in eight because I'm becoming more, um, I feel myself just kind of giving, I'm very, I keep on bringing up God, but it's because that's like what I'm about. And like, I think that's when I'm like my best, when I'm, you yeah. know, close to God and like going to church and stuff. And, um, I feel like lately I've been feeling myself just trusting myself a lot more and just telling myself like, it's going to be okay. And like, yeah. it's going to work out, you know, like if this job interview doesn't go through this one, will and like, this is where I'm supposed to be. So just me being more self-confident and just knowing that it's going to be okay, no matter what. You know, like that's me being strong men mentally because usually I'm like psyching myself out. Like, <laughs> what if this doesn't work out? Or like, what if yeah. this? So mentally, I that too. And I feel like it has to do with the emotions just because, like I said, like I've been trying to uh, work on myself the last couple months and just really figure out like, okay, what do I need to fix? Like what's going on? Yeah. And, you know, it's kind of like embarrassing, but I know we all go through it. It's you know? not, you know, and again, and she might cry when she listens to this, um, but... <laughs> Uh, one of one of our friends and sh she just sent me a message yesterday that she cried because I tagged her in it. But what just of what you said, that quote is being vulnerability is a strength. Yeah, because you're admitting it and like you're, you're sharing it, so you yeah. don't feel alone or like you're the only one that's feeling this. Like we all do. We yeah. We we all go through it. Well, like we're like we're here and we're putting this out there and it'll be in all platforms if you haven't yeah. listened yet. If you haven't, but <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's once we said it ourselves. Like who is who are they to tell us anything? Mm -hmm. Who are those negative people, haters? If you guys want to put it simply. To tell us what it's like, no, we ourselves said yeah, it. Yeah, you can't yeah. tell me anything I anymore. That so it's just like this is where I'm at. Whether you like it or not, this is where I'm at. Yeah, I'm happy. And as long as you accept yourself, like that's what's important. There's always me haters. There's always me haters. All of my friends always tell me like, Jocelyn, you think you have haters and you don't have any haters. And I'm like, yes, I do. They're out there. <laughs> that's so stupid. I probably don't, but. Who knows? We'll that never you know. know. Of, They're all that watching. You know of. Yeah. If <laughs> all those haters are watching, there it is, bro. Easy. All right, we got to do the shot. Yeah, we got it before it gets a little warm. Okay. A toast really what quick. What is this? Let's toast to um, your baby on the way. <sighs> to the baby on the way. And for. And to Brittany. <laughs> oh, she's going to cry. I already know her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Financially, last part to this three-part series, <laughs> financially, where did we end up on or where are you at? Yes. Uh, so for me, I feel like financially, I have really big expectations for myself. So As you should. Yes. As you should. I think that's, you know, it's, it's good, it's bad, whatever, but I... I have big goals and I am nowhere near where I want to be, you know, financially with like what I want to envision and what I see myself having, like the type of home um, and just, you know, like the financial stability. Um, but it's what I'm working towards. So I would yeah. probably say like right now I'm probably like a seven because I still I have I feel it coming. And like I know it's just a matter of time where I'm just going to leverage and, you know, just be really like. You know there, where I like, want to be. So, it's, but it's how 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 the other people say. Once you get there, you just want more. Yeah, yeah. Um, I <laughs> definitely. And then also, I feel like what also pushes me. Um, obviously, people around you. So, yeah. uh, my boyfriend is very ambitious, and he 
You know, he's big on the stocks. And Ooh. yeah, so he's got me into so it. So you need, you need to ask him to come share some stories, I some know, knowledge no, with, you guys the, definitely with the young generation out double here. Double date. <laughs> young generation. Um, yeah, so um, I naturally, like, you know, like I said, like I didn't, you know, come from, you know, the whole, you know, yeah. together family or That's... like full household and all of that. So like I, you know, I, I've struggled with like my mom and all of that growing up. So like, I think that's also been like a big push towards me to like, want to have this goal of like where I want to be and, um, you know, meeting him and like, just seeing how like ambitious he is and how he has like big goals. Like that also keeps me going. Cause obviously like you want to be right there with your partner yeah, you and like, be in tune. you want to be exactly. Right, right so I'm like, you know, like he's taught me how to be a little bit more ambitious and just like, yeah, just want more. And like, I think I'm kind of like one of those people that I'm, it's a good thing. and It's a bad thing, but like, I'm never satisfied. I always want more. So like, I think once I reach that next milestone, like I'll be able to be where I'm at financially and like start going from there, like my own little like side gig or whatever it is that I want to go into. And so yeah. it, it, with the side gig, is that going in rounds with finding your gift? Or do you yes. know what that gift is already? Um, I, I'm i like 75% there. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure it out and like, but I'm there. I have my like, you know, my, uh, my brainstorms and like my little stuff that I work on. And I think it's just a matter of like having the confidence to like put it out there one day. And like, I've yeah. talked to my friends about it very briefly, yeah. you know, but like I said, I'm not at that next milestone yet. Um, so I think once that comes, yeah. Um, I think I'll, it'll give me the confidence too. But I'm like, yeah. I'm working on it, and like, it's it's gonna come. I I'll, think so. I'll tell you this, dude. Like, just from how you're on here now, and when we started eight months ago, now appreciate every single one of you guys reached. Or are we two fifty four on YouTube and a thousand mm. already on IG? That's good. That's super good. Yeah, thank you. But it, so it takes a lot to get there from where we come from. Yeah. When you think we all see all these big, big stars that get all these millions and thousands of subscribers, but literally, and it's sad to say, is the people around you really don't want to see that. And how I was telling you about Shadow Mark, until you come with our YouTube, I'm going to shout you out, bro. But it's about really just throwing yourself out there. And I said it, I forgot what episode, like our first episode that we took out, oh, cringe. I watch it. I'm just like, dude, what were you thinking? But it, I think it was like three different takes. The light that we had then, I was like sweating off that light. I'm uh -huh. like, bro, this is cringe. Dude, that would have been all of us. I cringe at myself when I hear myself on an audio. I'm like, ew. <laughs> well, <laughs> I really sound like that. You I'm better annoying. play this on Apple Podcasts because it's gonna be on there. But but I tell everybody, it's like, dude, if I didn't, if we didn't do that, then it's a team effort. If we didn't do that, then we wouldn't be 30 episodes in. Yeah. Because it's all about putting yourself out there, trying it out. It's about if you fail, at least you tried it. You can't say, like, you didn't put everything into it. So yeah. whatever ideas that you have in there, shout out, you know, also even said it, like, the cemetery is the most richest place in, in the world because it's just full of ideas that never got done. Hmm. So the way I, yeah, since that was sad. said and the way I've lived is, until that happens 100 years from now, it's like I'm doing the most that I Every can. Every idea that you have. Yeah. No matter what. No matter what happens, no matter how little, how big it is, we're shooting it. We're doing it. And if it fails, it failed. And if, if it succeeded, then at least we tried it. We tried it enough to now see it. And where we're and going. Look at you. You're doing good. Yeah. That's good inspiration. Episode 30. Me. This yeah, is 30. Okay, so, I'm 30. you know, you, this is 30, <laughs> you know, and that's, it, the, yeah, that's good inspo. Yeah. So, it, just for anybody, anybody out there that's our age, younger, older, it's never too late, but it's just about throwing yourself out there. Yeah. I'm actually, there's this book, my one of my good friends recommended it, and it's um, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm. And it's literally like, it's so good. I'm not done reading it. I haven't stopped reading it, though. I'm, I work on it every chance I get. And it's pretty much like we're so scared to try and do things out of our comfort zone because we're scared to fail. But what's the worst that's going to happen? Either yeah. it's not going to work out, but you're not going to die. You're yeah. going to get a no. What That job wasn't for you. It's a no. But 
there's going to be another one, you know, like yeah. it's very like, um, just facing your fears and just doing them anyway, like the title. And it's, yeah. it gives you a lot of confidence and it just gives you like a big push, like, like you're going to be fine no matter what, you know, what phrase or quote have you lived by in the last year, two years, six months, three months? <laughs> so many. <I'm> just <laughs> There's been so many. State, all right, we're going to have a um, whole best episode for that one. <laughs> Um, you know, I think just with me reading this book, I'd probably say like, you know, like the title, but yeah. like there's phrases, I can't think of anyone specific in so, there right now, but yeah. like, just do it anyway. Like stop doubting yourself, stop overthinking, stop stressing, like just do it. Like yeah. you have one life, like I said, what's the worst that's going to happen? So just you know, having trust in yourself and your capabilities and knowing like, you know, I'm going to do it. So as long as you're being a good person and you, you're right, like, or your mind's in the right place, then yeah. I think everything's going to work out for you the way it should. And, um, yeah. So I think just, you know, that in a, in a nutshell, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you want another shot for the last we'll part? We'll do a little one. A little yeah. one. Just a little one. You've been giving me big ones, Lisa. No, nah, not at all. Not at all. Look, no si sale. Salir. <laughs> <laughs> here, here, let me see. No salir. Oh, look, look. No, you don't get it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, cool. Oh, uh, you yeah. served yourself the same. The si no, nah, it's under lies, it's under lies. <laughs> I give it. <laughs> but dude, thank you for coming out all yeah, this way no, to share your share your story, share your life, your views, your goals, like Episode 30 is going to be amazing. <laughs> Amber said it. Me. I always say it, but it's true. Every episode is amazing in their own way. So Yeah, I no, and um, I think it's amazing what you're doing. And I thank you for even, you know, having me. And I'm glad I got to meet Brittany today. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, I'm happy to be a part of it. I hope it, you know, means something or someone listens to it and kind of takes something from it and feels like, you know, they're not alone or you know, I'm just trying to be as real as I can be for yeah. the audience. I appreciate the that. Podcast. So if you haven't yet, YouTube, subscribe. subscribe. like. It's going to be on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, <laughs> Anchor, Google Pod, anywhere you look for it, it'll be on there. So, dude, appreciate you. Episode 30 yes. in the books. Yes.